crafting dog treats. There's only four ingredients, I believe, so we're going to get straight on into it. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment down below what you want us to do next. So um, the first thing you're going to need is one fourth cup of peanut butter, one cup of flour, half a cup of water, one single egg, all right, so the rest of this stuff is an ingredient. It's just stuff to have handy when the time comes to, you know, work on it. So we just got a pan, a big bowl, a mixer. This is a hand mixer. And then we just got a um, roller pin. And then don't forget a cookie cutter. <laughs> and let's get started. All right, so we're just going to start off with a bowl. And the first thing we are going to do is take the flour. I may be looking here because I have, like, the recipe that I made, so, but yeah. So you're going to take one cup of all-purpose flour, whole wheat flour, doesn't matter, really. Make sure it's all in there. Next, we are going to take the um, one-fourth cup of peanut butter. And I've been told that this is the best, like a spatula, it's probably the best way to get it out. Peanut butter doesn't really have to be exact because it's very hard to measure. <sighs> I can get it out. Yeah. Right. You know, maybe not be so messy that I am. Alrighty. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Back. So now you should have your flour and your peanut butter. Again, don't be as messy as I was with my peanut butter. Alright, so you're going to take the egg. Um this I drew face on it because I just felt like it. I don't know. But anyways, you're just going to crack the egg. Everything goes in the yolk, the white, everything. Just stick it in the trash can. All right, so now I got the egg down and you're going to mix it. Not a whole lot, but make sure it's all like together. Um, I'm not gonna be talking much because you're probably barely gonna hear me anyways, so. Alright, so now you should have something like this. It's not supposed to be mixed like really well. Just enough to, oh, so yeah, I'm seeing some spots that I've missed. But it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's like all like together mainly just to get the, like all of it combined rather than all separated. So now that you have that, you're going to take your water. This is um, half a cup. This is where I add too much water to my batter and ruin it. Any temperature of water, doesn't matter. And now, you're just going to mix it. All right, so now I'm back, you should have something like this. It's going to be fairly sticky. I'm telling you that now. You may not have that if you have a uh, non, like not a handheld mixer. It's just like a do-it-yourself kind of a mixer. But um, I don't have that, so this next part, you're going to just take it out, which, oh my gosh, it feels a lot like slime. And then if you're a germaphobe, then like I am, I would recommend using gloves. But since my dog is eating it and people really aren't eating it, yeah, it's a 
this is all right. So, oh, I thought I'll also take this time to mention that um, this is kind of a small batch. You can always um, double this, triple this. Use. All right, I'm back. This time, I did the batter the right way um, because I added half a cup of water, which you guys already know that's wrong because you're watching the edited version. But um, I actually was supposed to add one eighth cup of water. So your recipe should look something like this, like a bunch of clumps, because this looks right. So you're basically just going to grab your stuff and pull it out. You're just going to smash it until it's like flattened out. And then I will also be using a ruler, but I have to clump this all together first. So, now that this is kind of covered in flour, I'm going to take my batter, it kind of fit like right into the one cup measurement, and you should have something like this, fit in your hand, unless you increase the recipe. So, I'm just going to flatten this puppy out, maybe. about a quarter of an inch thick and now you're going to take a cookie cutter most people would use dog bones but um i don't have those so we're gonna use stars because they're the only things in there that's basically not christmas related all right so now you should have your cookies um i think this is probably like the perfect amount as you can see here i did add a little dog bone because I had a little extra batter and I couldn't quite squeeze a star, so that's my best effort. Ooh. Anywho, so now that we got these, we are going to stick them in the oven for 350 degrees, and I will tell you how long to cook them once I'm waiting for mine to cook. All right, so now that mine are cooking, I'm going to tell you how long you can cook yours for, and that's going to be for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you want them to be more on the soft side, cook them for 15, but if you want them to be more on the um, crunchy side, 20. Um, but I'm looking at these ingredients and as long as they're cooked, people can eat these too. So, I mean, we're up for the challenge. <laughs> All right, so the cookies, so the cookies are done. Um, yeah, so I picked mine for 20 minutes, so they're a little squishy, but they're like hard and crunchy, which I feel like it's a better time. Like I said, you can cook them for like 15 minutes, but I think 20 minutes are best. So now, with these beautiful cookies, which made 10, we are going to test it on my puppy. So I'm going to take... Ooh, that's so hot. So, yeah. But I'm... 
So this is my puppy. Is this more doggy treats? Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, the lighting's being weird. Oh, well. So, I'm going to take this treat. I dropped it! Well, you get the point. Success. If you liked this video, I sure did. Usually my treats don't turn out the best, but they did this time. So, yeah. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!